I'm Jason UFC, and today we have a story about UFC lightweight contender Justin Gaethje targets Charles Oliveira or Dustin Poirier next, saying, I deserve to fight someone in front of me in the UFC lightweight division rankings. Justin Gaethje wants a big fight next. The former UFC interim lightweight champion is eyeing a rematch following his most recent feat in the octagon. Uh, Justin Gaethje defeated Rafael Fazayev by decision in a all-out war in the co-main event of UFC Saturday night, um, UFC 286 um, co-main event. Now with a second consecutive win under his belt, Justin Gaethje is looking to fight Charles Oliveira or Dustin Poirier next, two fighters who he previously fought and lost against. I did what I had to do, Justin Gaethje told reporters at the UFC 286 post-fight press conference. I fought someone below me twice in a row. I am 100% believe that I deserve to fight someone in front of me in the UFC lightweight division. The loser of the Oliveira uh, Darius fight, I'd rather not fight. I Hold on. This is interesting. The loser of Oliveira versus uh, Darius fight, I'd rather not fight Darius. I love that dude. I do believe he's going to defeat Charles Oliveira, I fought like a complete idiot when I fought Charles Oliveira last time, so I would love to have that fight back. But Dustin Poirier is also a good, is uh, as good as of an option. Justin Gaethje was one and two entering UFC 286 with losses in championship fights versus Charles Oliveira and Habib Nurmagomedov. Now he wants to make one more run at the title after. After bouncing back into the win column, what do you mean bouncing back? Okay, didn't he defeat um, Michael Chandler? Right, wasn't that his last win? Justin Gaethje and Fazayev pocketed extra fifty thousand dollars for the fight of night performance, as they about met the pre-fight expectations of an intense, exciting fight. Justin Gaethje was pleased with his performance and grateful he and his opponent um, exited without serious um, issues. I. Looked pretty good, so I did a good job. I did a good job, Justin Gaethje said regarding his performance. The key is to not um, get hit, and I did a good job at that. I took a couple of shots. I say two or three to the head. I asked and prayed that neither of us sustained chronic injury. Okay, so this is this is an interesting one. Um, now, I am an MMA casual, but I do believe Justin Gaethje is on a two-fight win streak, right? Like, I believe he defeated um, Michael Chandler, right, last, and then he just got another victory over, um, over what's his name, over Rafael Fazayev last night. And Fazayev was that guy who was, like, hovering around the top five, never really have fought anyone in the top five. So this was his opportunity to, you know, really stamp his self as one of those top five, top two, top one, number one contenders. But he ended up losing a, almost every, you know, it was a, I, I, thought, I thought it was, a, I'm pretty sure it was a unanimous decision victory for um, Charles, um, Charles, for Justin Gaethje. So, Fazayev, you know, he's gonna he's gonna be out for a while. He took some pretty nasty shots at his face. His face is all bloodied up, so we won't see Fazayev for a while. And we haven't heard much from Dustin Poirier. I believe Dustin Poirier was also coming off of a victory over Michael Chandler last. I believe that was last November. I, I think that, but we haven't heard Dustin Poirier's name in a while. But Neil Darius a few months ago, some people were throwing his name out versus du Justin versus Dustin Poirier, but for some reason, Dustin Poirier said, I, I wouldn't say he said no, but he was just indicating that he didn't want to fight Benil Darius because the uh, Benil Darius didn't really bring any of the, like, quote-unquote fire or, like, heat towards, you know, um, Dustin Poirier, he's considered Benil Darius kind of a nice guy or something like that. I don't really know why um, Poirier didn't take the fight because I feel like if Poirier would have taken the fight versus Benil Darius like Charles Oliveira did, this is like the number one contender fight. 
So it seems like, you know, the winner of Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush is the number one contender. They'll fight um, Islam Makachev. So I was a little bit surprised that Benil, um, Dustin Poirier, didn't take that fight. I know Benil Dariush was like, hey, you may think I'm a nice guy, so I think you should retire if you're not going to take this fight because, I mean, what are you doing? So Dustin Poirier seems like he's almost the odd person out right now. I don't know if the UFC is already making the idea of Dustin Poirier is going to fight Islam Makachev next. We haven't heard about Islam Makachev. Um, the Charles Oliveira Benil Darius fight that's still two months away. That fight is in May, and Islam Makachev last fought in um February. I believe his next fight will be in November. But with the Benil Darius and Charles Oliveira fight happening in May, you know if if um if that's like an all out war it's only a three round fight so you know but if you know if the winner does take some damage and they are out for 6 months they won't be the number one contender and they won't be able to fight um they won't be able to fight Islam Makachev at Europe at um in Dubai in October so they could still be a number one contender like Dustin Poirier I feel like his name hasn't been thrown out there yet so I feel like Dustin Poirier may be right now the number one contender right like we haven't heard much about him I don't know who is he gonna fight we haven't you know you know uh, Michael Chandler's fighting Mike, uh, Michael Chandler's fighting Conor McGregor. Fiziev just lost to Justin Gaethje. Um, Charles Oliveira and Benil Darius are fighting. Um, that's basically the top five. And, you know, so um, right now, Dustin Poirier is the odd man out. But Or he could be the number one contender. Let me know your opinion of this story. Who should... Yeah, there's so many names. Who should Justin Gaethje fight next? Should he fight the winner or... Or should he fight the loser of Charles Oliveira versus Benel Darius, right? I think he would have to fight the loser if the winner of that is the number one contender. So he may have to fight um, Benel Darius. Or should, you know, Justin Gaethje fight Dustin Poirier? I'm of the line that I actually kind of want to see Dustin Poirier fight, you know, because Dustin Poirier is on a winning streak. He defeated Conor McGregor twice. He defeated Michael Chandler. I wouldn't mind seeing Dustin Poirier versus Islam Makachev. That's just... That's where I'm at right now, you know, because those two, their fight cards are open. The timing seems like it would work out the best for the lightweight division. And um seems like a good idea. But let me know your opinion of this story. Who should be fighting who next? Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, um, Islam Makachev, um, those three. I'm Jason UFC. Today we had a story about um, Justin Gaethje, UFC lightweight contender, um, Justin Gaethje targets Charles Oliveira or Dustin Poirier next um, for his next fight in the lightweight um, division. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button. And please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.